You've come to the right place for my short but sweet film music appreciation segments. I want to talk about the composers and what makes their music so good. Let's light this candle. With Star Wars in many people's minds back in the late 70s, Disney wanted to compete and see if they could cash in on the sci-fi craze with a cool but disturbed movie known as The Black Hole. It had wicked special effects that I believe still hold up, minus the fact of being able to see all the cables holding the robots aloft when watching it in 1080 or better. It had the most badass evil robot, sorry Ed 209, an R2-D2 ripoff, and Ernest Borgnine. Also a great performance by Maximilian Schell. The time has come to liquidate our guests. I like him already. It also starred that cool cat, Robert Forster, this Han Solo wannabe, Norman, and Yvette Mimieux. Wait a minute. There you go. Was The Black Hole a good movie? <laughs> Forgot what I was going to say. Oh yeah. The music made it better. The Black Hole had an interesting story wrapped up with an ending that if you're like me at eight years old seeing it really f***ed you up. On top of all this was a score that I believe is one of the best sci-fi soundtracks out there. It was composed by this guy. You may know composer John Barry, namely from the numerous James Bond films he did. Dances with Wolves, Midnight Cowboy, Out of Africa, the 1976 King Kong, Game of Death, Legend of the Lone Ranger, and Somewhere in Time. Yes, somewhere it's <laughs> He has the knack for moody, sometimes dark atmospheres, and he brought it home in the black hole, especially with this eerie opening score. Barry whisked up a nice heroic overture for the film as well that is its repeating theme for our good guys when they are taking it to the bank. <laughs> this is a wild ride of a movie, especially musically. Tones of Hope. And Tones of Doom. That is the beauty of the score. John Barry crafted a piece that accentuates some of the more creepy vibes this movie puts out. Then there is this completely left filled imagery where we are shown what happens if you're bad. So give the black hole a watch. It's on Disney Plus. We are going through. So you can enjoy nitpicking all the cables flying the robots around, but definitely listen to John Barry's score alone. It's quite awesome to behold. You will automatically hear some formula in what Barry likes to stick to, but beyond that, he created a lot of memorable scores. Did you like The Black Hole and hope they reboot it with the right filmmakers and cast? Let me know in the comments and dingle the Barry to see more content. And next time, I'll go a little off the charts with a wild score from Eric Serra and Luc Besson's The Big Bleh. <laughs>